Today is the start of a Team Go Rocket takeover in Pokemon Go, and for the first time ever, Team Go Rocket grunts can have shiny shadow Pokemon. So today, I'm gonna battle Team Go Rocket as many times as I can, all of them, grunts, leaders, and see how many shadow shinies I can find, starting with these ones right here. Here we go, grunt number one is using psychic type Pokemon. Now, as of right now, I've seen five Shadow Shinies from Grunts confirmed. Charmander, Bulbasaur, Squirtle, Mawile, and Grimer. So we haven't seen a Psychic type Shadow Shiny from Grunts confirmed yet. And all of the Shadow Shinies that Grunts can have are Shadow Shinies that were previously released by Team Go Rocket leaders. So it doesn't look like Grunts are gonna have any new Shadow Shinies, but if the leaders have had a Shiny Shadow in the past and the Grunts have it now, well then it can be shiny. Does that make sense? Grunt number one, shadow shiny check number one, no. Have we had shadow shiny Abra? I don't think so. But hey, since there's two grunts right here, this one's poison type. Ooh, Grimer. Okay, we know this one can be shiny. Here is a shadow shiny check. Nope. All right, well, there's grunts everywhere. Leaders everywhere. Team Go Rocket's taking over. I'm gonna go battle them and maybe get some coffee. Okay, these grunts really are everywhere they've completely taken over i got some coffee we got some grunts let's keep going by the way if you ever um, come down to the pike to play pokemon go and you want some coffee cafe cabinet this is my spot super close to the pike good coffee okay oh picks dang it was a fire type grunt i was hoping that she would have charmander the thing with these shadow shinies from grunts is that we don't know the shiny rate yet it is well picks can't be shiny. So we don't know the shiny rate on Grunt's Pokemon yet. We know that for leaders, it's one in 64, it's perma boost. But there is a chance that for the Grunt's, they've lowered the shiny rate. And I really wouldn't be surprised if it was one in 100, or even if it was full odds, base odds, one in 500. But that's the type of thing we're really only gonna be able to figure out with time. We need enough data points, we need enough research, enough encounters with these shadow shiny Pokemon to figure out what the actual shiny odds are. So that's part of the reason I'm making this video today. I'm gonna battle as many as I can so you can get an idea of how likely or how possible or how difficult it's gonna be to actually find a shadow shiny from a Team Go Rocket grunt. Graveler, unfortunately, can't be shiny. So that, that wasn't a shiny check. I just found my first Team Go Rocket leader for the day. It's Cliff, and that's good because Cliff has the best new shadow shiny Pokemon. So the Team Go Rocket leaders have new lineups. Here's a nice infographic from Miko Graphics. It's actually a really good graphic. So Cliff has Larvitar, which means we can get shadow shiny Larvitar for the first time in Pokemon Go. Sierra has Murkrow, you can get shadow shiny Murkrow. And then Arlo has Teddy Ursa, which has been released before, but you can get shadow shiny Teddy Ursa from Arlo. But for Cliff, Shadow Tyranitar is one of the best rock type attackers. So even if you don't get the shiny, it's still a good shadow Pokemon to target. It's one of the best shadow Pokemon that's available. For Cliff, I recommend a grass, electric, and fairy type team because that's gonna cover most of his potential lineup. If he has Sceptile, you're not gonna have something super effective against that, but you would have something super effective against everything else. That's the old lineup still because the takeover just started today and the Team Go Rocket leaders lineups were set this morning before the takeover started. So, by the time you're watching this, they have the new lineups. But today, while I'm filming it, they don't. Oh, that sucks. Well, I didn't get Shadow Shiny Magnemite, so here's a quick Shadow Shiny Magnemite check. Nope. Okay, so knowing that the leaders today are still gonna have their old lineups, I probably won't battle them as much as I was going to with the new lineups, but we'll still sprinkle them in here and there as I get enough uh, components to battle them. Back to the grunts. This was a fairy type grunt, shiny check. I don't think it can be shiny. No, we haven't had that yet. Steel type grunt? No. God, I would love for that to be shiny though. Release that. Normal type grunt. Oh, that can't be shiny. Another steel type grunt. Um, it's, it's a prank shiny. It's got the red eyes like the shiny, but it's just because it's a shadow. There's a bug type grunt. We have had some shadow shiny bug types. Shuckle is not one, Shuckle's not one of them. Here's an electric type grunt. I can't think of any shadow shiny electric types that have been released, but 
we'll check anyway. Here's a poison type grunt. We know for sure that this can have a shiny, but not Fungus. We've seen shiny Grimer. Here's a ghost type grunt. I think Sableye is the only shadow shiny ghost type we've had released, so probably not likely. We're gonna find a shiny from these guys. Rock type grunt. I think the only rock type we've had is Ammonite. Is that right? Probably unlikely we find a shiny from a rock grunt also. Here's another poison grunt, but it's Fungus, not Grimer. This is another electric type grunt, so I don't think there's gonna be a shiny, but I'm gonna keep battling every grunt for two reasons. One, it gives us a more accurate picture of how many grunts you actually need to encounter in order to find a shiny. And two, there could always be a surprise. You know, if the shiny rate is low, there's a good chance that not every shadow shiny from grunts has been discovered yet. So we try them all until we have enough evidence to say, well, this isn't gonna give us a shiny for sure. How about you? A normal type, what could we get from that? I don't know, let's find out. Uh, oh yeah, pit of. Ugh. Another fairy type, which means another snubble. And I think Sh Shadow Shiny Snubble was actually released like as an accident a long time ago. Someone correct me if I'm not remembering this correctly, but like it wasn't intentionally released. So it probably can't be shiny from grunts, but I think there was like an oopsie at some point. I mean, there's been a lot of oopsies, let's be honest. Here's a water type grunt. Could be Squirtle. It's not, it's Psyduck. This was a ground type grunt and uh, pretty sure it's not gonna be a shiny check because there is actually a way to kind of predict what Pokemon you're gonna get from a grunt. You've probably noticed this pattern, but it's usually the first Pokemon that the grunt uses or sometimes the second Pokemon that they use. So this grunt sent out a fan pee first. I knew it probably was gonna be a fan pee, therefore not a shiny check. Wow, oh, I thought, I thought there would be a lot more grunts at the pike. Oh, a balloon. Wait, no, I have a radar. It's a leader. Cliff, if it was tomorrow, I would battle you, but I I need that Larvitar, dude. Well, I found Arlo, so I am gonna use my uh, rocket radar on Arlo. For Arlo's new team, I would recommend probably a dark type to cover Hypno, Golurk, and Banette. A ground type would cover Blaziken and Luxray. And then for Scissor, I mean, Fire is definitely the type to use, but against Teddy Ursa, just use something that's gonna get shields down quickly out of one of those three types. Now, I'm battling old Arlo's team because I still have a shot at a Shadow Shiny Beldum here. N Nidoran, Sierra has Beldum, huh? I'm definitely using the wrong team for this. I don't know what Pokemon I thought Arlo had, but hey, Shadow Shiny Nidoran check coming up. Well, we know this one can be shiny, but it's not. Thanks, Arlo. I swear if Lana Del Rey doesn't fly her plane somewhere else, I I'll go somewhere else. Anyway, here's a psychic type grunt. Um, not gonna be a shiny check. Nope, electric grunt. Nope. Here's another fire type grunt, which I thought meant I could find Charmander potentially, but it turns out the grunt that has Charmander is the non-type specific grunt. So the one that says like, winning is for winners or don't bother, you've already lost. The one that isn't about a specific type, that's the grunt that has Charmander, Squirtle, and Bulbasaur. So it turns out all three of those potential shadow shinies come from the same grunt. Super bug Pokemon. This one's probably not gonna be a shiny. The longer this goes on, and I've only been out here for two hours maybe? Less than two hours. The longer this goes on, the less and less likely it seems that I'm actually gonna be able to find a shadow shiny from a grunt today. And that's, it's a little disappointing, but honestly, not all that surprising. Um, knowing Niantic, they like to drip feed us, you know, trickle things out. There's Weedle, not a shiny check. So it seems like only a few different grunts actually can have shadow shinies. So far, like I said, the rate could be so low that we just haven't found them all yet. So I'm not giving up. I'm gonna keep looking, but I'm not as hopeful as when I started this challenge two hours ago. So here's a grass type grunt, which won't have Bulbasaur in its lineup. Not a shadow shiny, probably not even a shadow shiny check from the grass type grunt. Here's another ghost type grunt, probably not a shiny check, not a shiny check. So it seems like only three grunts can have shadow shiny Pokemon right now. So if you are looking specifically for shadow shiny Pokemon, those are the three to look for. The male non-type specific grunt, the female poison type grunt, and the female fairy type grunt. So I was 
Lana Del Rey continues to follow me around Long Beach. Knowing that those three grunts are probably the only ones that are giving shadow shinies, the goal for the day is kind of shifting from let's figure out how rare shadow shinies are to let's figure out how rare the shadow shiny grunts are. Because so far I've seen the poison type grunt, which can give shadow shiny grimer. I've seen the fairy type grunt, but it hasn't given me a mawile yet, but I still haven't seen the non-type specific grunt. Why are the stops so displaying so weird? Like we have a Team Go Rocket takeover and there's a bug with Team Go Rocket stops actually showing up. Finally found a grunt that can actually be a shiny check. Poison type grunt, shiny grimer check. No, but I found one. Oh, finally, after being out here uh, a few hours, winning is for winners and it's the female grunt. That's the one we want, right? Is it the male or the female? Oh uh, no, it's the male winning is for winners grunt that we're looking for. So even once I find the right kind of grunt, it's still a 50-50, this should be Snorlax, yep. Ah, I thought we were finally gonna get a Kanto starter shiny check, but now it's Snorlax. I mean, I love Snorlax, but it can't be shiny in this situation. I had an egg slot open up, so battled Arlo just to get the 12 kilometer egg here. And of course, for the shadow shiny check. I found Sierra for the first time today, and even though she's still gonna have her old lineup, which is actually preferable because I want the Beldum, I just wanna take this opportunity to go over her new lineup. Sierra's new lead Pokemon is gonna be Murkrow. Then she's got Steelix, Swampert, Staraptor, Houndoom, Dragonite, and Charizard. So a lot of them are weak to rock. Five out of the possible seven are weak to rock including Murkrow. So bring a rock type for sure. You can bring uh, a water type, ground type, fire for Steelix, and then definitely a grass type in case she has Swampert. Of course, since her lineup was set this morning before the takeover started, she's still got Beldum, but I do want the shiny check. This will probably be my last Beldum shadow shiny check for a while. Ah, no shiny. That was a poison type grunt, and it feels like it's been hours since I even found a grunt that could possibly be shiny. And it's not. I ran into someone at the Pike who said they battled Cliff and he had Larvitar today. So I just got Cliff uh, in the balloon here. And I'm curious to see if this one will have the new lineup. So I think that's the lineup I want for Cliff. Let's see if I can get a Larvitar check off the balloon. Yes! Oh my god. Good to know. Very, very good to know. The Pokestop leaders lineups are set in the morning. The balloon leaders lineups are set when the balloon spawns. That makes sense. So, I can check a Shadow Shiny Larvitar. Wish me luck, because the grunts have not been nice to me today. It was never going to happen on the first check, right? That's okay. Shadow Tyranitar still one of the best rock type attackers. So even if it's not shiny, if you can get one with good IVs, it's gonna be very useful. Let's see, it's zero stars. This I think was a psychic type grunt, so it's not a shiny check, uh, no, no shiny check, but I'm about to hop in the car and drive up to downtown LA, see if I have better luck in downtown LA, because it's game day. Pelicans are in town, they're playing the Clippers. So of course I gotta go. It might be my last chance to see him play this season. And there should be plenty of grunts out there too. It's cold. 
cold, it's windy, Pels win by 21, and we got a shadow shiny check on the way out from the Staples Center. Focus stop, I hope it always stays Staples Center. No shiny, but a win. It's day two of the Team Go Rocket takeover with special guest, the cruise ship. Yo! I picked up Tom from the airport this morning. Thank you. So <laughs> since we're here in Irvine, I figured we'd stop by the Spectrum and see what's going on in terms of Team Go Rocket. I'm starting it off with a shiny check. That was Arlo, no shiny. But since all the leaders will have their new lineups today, hopefully we can find Cliff and there should be plenty of grunts. We just had lunch. I battled like five grunts while we were eating. I'm sure there's a lot more. First cliff defeated for the day. This is the one I really want. Oh, and he gave me potions. I'm so low on potions. All right, Larvitar, shadow shiny check. It's okay. It's weather boosted, so it could still have good IVs. Can we redeem the Larvit? All right, then. I just had a balloon spawn and I was expecting like, oh, maybe cliff again, but it's a grunt, but it's the good grunt. It's winning is for winners. So, I mean, it could be anything. God, I, I'm really out of potions. Let's find out what this grunt has. Squirtle. Feet Bulbasaur. Charmander. Oh, it is Charmander. I'm getting all excited. Like it's actually gonna be shiny or something. All yeah, right. Don't know if these are full odds, perma boost, uh, something in between, but shadow, shiny. Charmander Chuck. Charmander. Ooh. Okay. Oh my god. Uh, okay. Yo, I am gonna remember to TM frustration off right now. Dang. Oh my god. And then I can evolve this next time Blast Burn is available. Someone remind me, next time Blast Burn's available, I got a 96% Shadow Charizard incoming. Shiny check for Tom. Oh, ah. oh man. This guy's a winning for winners. Okay. Ah. Ah. Sierra, the last leader available here at the Spectrum. The shiny check. Ah. No. Oh, no. Dude. The purple smoke. It's confusing. Oh, no. I thought it was it. Rip. That's all right. I mean, that's my first battle against Sierra with the new lineup, but I'm definitely only battling Cliff from here on out, probably. It's day three of the Team Go Rocket takeover, and we're starting with a Grimer Grunt. No shiny. I brought the skateboard out today. We're just gonna speed run, see how many battles we can get in. Sierra, no shiny. First check with Cliff. No. I wonder who Clint is. Another Grimer Grunt. Oh. Grimer again. Nope. Sierra's Murkrow. Nope. Uh, Arlo. Arlo again. Somehow, it's Arlo again, and still not shiny. Is this a prank? Is it Arlo's birthday? What's going on? Finally, Grimer Grunt. Mm, here's Cliff with the Larvitar. That's me. This time it's Sierra. I finally found the Mawile Grunt, and it's not shiny. Birthday Boy's back, no presents. It's day four of the Team Go Rocket takeover and I am still shinyless, but I'm back in downtown LA. I'm just gonna save us both some time here and say I got no shinies on day four. It's day five, the last day of the Team Go Rocket takeover. And this morning I finally found my first shiny of this entire event and it was Zorua disguised as my buddy. So, um, still no shinies. Kicking the day off today with a battle with Arlo and my last last hopes for a shiny shadow. It's not like I can't get a shiny shadow Pokemon after the Team Go Rocket takeover ends, but it's obviously gonna be a lot harder because the grunts aren't gonna be as common. It's gonna take longer to find them. It's just gonna be a slower process overall. So, day five, wish me luck. I, I clicked it early, oops. I have three 12 kilometer eggs hatching. You know, I've been battling the leaders, so I'm picking up some eggs. Maybe these can bail me out. With something interesting, something worthwhile, something to make it all worthwhile, please. 
Is it just me or has Cliff been the hardest leader to find now that he has Larvitar? I know I said I was only going to battle Cliff, but it's been so difficult to find him. Cliff, help me out, please. Well, I guess complain and you shall receive. Cliff just showed up in the balloon. Thank you, sir. Going in with a one third HP Kyogre because I, I can't afford to heal my Pokemon. And now for pulling off such an incredible win, Cliff rewards me with a shiny. For the first time today, I found a Grunt with a shiny check. At this point, I'm doing it out of desperation. I battled Arlo because I don't know how many more times I'm gonna find Cliff before the end of the day. So, Arlo, be nice to me. <sighs> well, I found him at least one more time. Cliff, Shadow Shiny Larvitar. Oh my God, I did it. I finally, I finally did it. After five days, I finally found a shiny. I was going through my Pokemon storage to transfer and make space and I found this beautiful shiny ditto sitting in there. I've been quick catching everything, obviously. Uh, ditto during the event has been spawning in increased numbers. This shiny ditto with terrible IVs is my first shiny of this entire event. Obviously not a shadow shiny, but the fact that I at least got one shiny in the last five days makes it feel like it's at least not been a complete and total waste of time. I'm not done though. There's still a little bit of time left on the event. A couple leaders here at the pike. Let's go see who they are. First up was Arlo. And second, Sierra. No cliff. We got Sierra again. Hmm. Let me just take this opportunity once again to mention how rare Cliff is, so maybe he'll show up in my next balloon. Okay, it's not a balloon, but I did find Cliff. And to reward me for hunting him down, a shiny Larvitar. Charmander Grunt? What did I do to deserve this? Another encounter with Cliff. Surely this time will be different. All right, this is new for me. I just battled the Starter Grunt, and for the first time this entire event, it had Squirtle. It's still not shiny. All right, here's a Grimer Grunt. The event's actually over. I thought it ended at 10 p.m. It ended at 8 p.m. It's 8.10 right now. So my last chance for a shiny, at least for this video. Just think about everything we've been through. Give me a shiny for the video. Mm. So at the end of the Team Go Rocket takeover, five days, we're gonna go age zero through four, should be the last five days, and shadow. 261 shadow Pokemon that I caught. I probably battled more grunts than that because some of them I was just running from or quick catching. Of the 261 Pokemon, uh, 52, well, 51, not including the Alolan Grimer, could actually be shiny. So we know that the leader's Pokemon have perma-boosted shiny odds, one in 64. If the grunts are also perma-boosted, one in 64, then zero out of 51 isn't really that unlikely. So it's bad luck, but it's not like terrible luck. You know? But if we only look at Grunts, the Grunt Pokemon that could have been shiny, I only caught 24 of them. Out of the probably close to 300 Team Go Rocket battles that I did in the last five days, only 24 of the Grunts could have even given me shiny Pokemon. So it's definitely not the game-changing update that I hoped it was gonna be, but it is a good start. Obviously, as more Shadow Shiny Pokemon get released, um, more of them have the possibility of being shiny. So every time the grunts lineups change, every time the leaders lineups change, we should gradually get more and more shadow shiny Pokemon becoming available and then also becoming available from grunts. But as it stands right now, 24 out of nearly 300 over five days is not quite good enough to really get me excited and get me out battling again. If I run into the Team Go Rocket grunts that I know can have shinies, I'll take the time to battle them. But for most of the other grunts, all the ones that were giving me Shinx and Fanpy and whatever else, I'll probably skip a lot of those in my regular play. Well, that's it. Almost 300 Team Go Rocket battles and nothing to show for it. I got rocked. Uh, check out these videos if you want to see me have some better luck with shinies. Ouch.
Team Go Rocket hates me. Bye.